Shrimate Ramanujan Ramana. As per Ayurvedic wisdom, there are a number of restrictions on consuming set curd as it is. For example, none of us should have set curd after sunset. Now, curd is very heavy to digest. It aggravates both kapha and pitta. And being abhishyanti or sticky, it can clog the fine channels inside our body. Rather, the textbooks say we should consume buttermilk. Buttermilk is more easily absorbed by all of us and is generally recommended in most conditions. Now, as per the Ashtanga Hadiya textbook, Acharya Vagbata says that buttermilk is lahu, light, it is amala, sour, it is kashaya or astringent, and it is deepana or carbonated. It helps balance both vata and kapha. And buttermilk is therefore used as per the text in curing a number of internal diseases. Now, the big question is what is buttermilk? Is it just the addition of water to curd? Now, the Ayurvedic text once again come to our help here and they give a very precise definition of what buttermilk is. Now, buttermilk can be defined as the transformation of curd. Now, in Ayurveda, this process of transformation is known as samskara. And the process of samskara or transformation of curd has three aspects to it. Number one is the churning of the curd. Number two is the addition of water. And number three is the removal of butter. Now, the butter can be removed because it separates from the curd by the process of churning. And we, as we all very well know, churning can be done both by hand, you know, manually with a stick or in a blender. Now, based on the three aspects of transformation of curd, the 16th century textbook, Bhav Prakasha by Acharya Bhav Mishra, tells us there are five distinct types of buttermilk. The first one is Ghola, which looks like a thick yogurt. In Ghola, we take set curd and churn it. There is no addition of water, there is no removal of butter. The next is Madita, in which we take set curd and churn it. There is no addition of water here, but we remove the butter. The third one is called Takra. In Takra, we add one-fourth the volume of curd, of water, churn it well and remove the butter. Then we have Udaswit, in which we add half the volume of uh, curd of water, churn this very well and then remove the butter. And finally, the well-known chas or charge, in which we take curd, add large amounts of water to it, churn it really well and then remove the butter. Now, of course, the addition of uh, spices and salt to this buttermilk is optional. Now, the textbooks also tell us because buttermilk is light and astringent, it is good to be had at the end of a meal. And here's the most important question for many South Indians. Can we have curd rice? The answer is no. If you're taking a big spoon of fat, set curd and adding it to rice as such, the answer is to have buttermilk rice. Make buttermilk in any of the five methods suggested and add the buttermilk to rice and have it instead at the end of a meal. So this buttermilk with rice or plain is excellent to be had at the end of a rice-based meal. Now, in the next part of this video, we'll see how to make buttermilk for chas. While there are five types of making buttermilk as per the textbooks, the first two options in which we don't add water or we don't remove the butter are generally to be avoided in a family in normal situations. Because in a family there could be a number of people, young and old, with different properties or with different health conditions. So a safe way so that everybody can consume the buttermilk is to use the last options like chas, where we take the curd, add lots of water, churn it well and most importantly remove the butter. Now this option of chas can be safely consumed in most conditions by every member in the family. We really enjoyed putting this video for you and if you found this useful, please do drop your comments below and I do hope that you will like this video, share this video and subscribe to the Kriya YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.